Hey guys, it's Anessa and welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today we're gonna to be doing a very quick video on how to balance artificial light with natural light. It's very simple and we're gonna walk you through it. There's three things that's very important when working with artificial light and natural light. So the three things that I pay attention to to try to balance the artificial light with the natural light is one, your shutter, two, your aperture, and three, your ISO. Let's start with the shutter. So the shutter controls the ambient light. So when you decrease the shutter, that lets in more light. So basically if you're shooting at one one hundredth of a second, that's letting in um, more light and if you increase that to let's say 200 or 300 that basically decreases the amount of ambient light that goes into your camera now that has zero impact or very little impact i should say to your actual artificial light so another thing that you should be aware of with respect to the shutter the shutter also controls your sync speed. So if you go beyond whatever your camera is, like my camera is at 200, if you go beyond 200, if your light don't have hyper speed sync, then it's not going to work properly. Basically what will happen is you will see some black bars that's on your image. So if your light have hyper speed sync, like mine, my light has it, which is the Godox 8200, your light will kick into hyperspeed sync and then you'll be able to get a properly exposed image. So your shutter, although the shutter impacts just the ambient light, it also impacts your sync speed. So it depending on what kind of light you have, that would determine if you have a black bar or not. So just make sure that your light have hyperspeed sync and then you can go beyond 200 or whatever your shutter speed is on your camera. Now the aperture controls both the uh, ambient light and it also controls the power on your light itself okay so if you move your shutter in either direction either you want to have a lot more shallow depth of field then obviously that will let in a lot more ambient light and also will give you a lot more light on your artificial light as well so the last thing i want to talk about is your iso now your iso basically adjusts just like your aperture it adjusts the entire environment so it impacts the artificial light basically it could give you more power if you increase your iso let's say from 100 to 500 yes you will get a lot more light from your ambient and you will get a lot more light from your artificial light so now how do you combine all these things to basically balance your artificial light with your natural light all right so the art of balancing artificial light with natural light the first thing you want to do is basically get your exposure for the background now the challenge that we're having right now is that this light, the sun, keeps going in and out of, uh, well, the clouds keep covering the sun, basically, so it's keep changing the exposure. But right now, my exposure is at 1600 shutter, 2.8 aperture, and ISO is at 100. That may change depending on how often the sun goes in and out. And then once you get your exposure for the background, the next thing you need to do is basically um, change the power on the light. Now, Right now I have this light on full power uh, because obviously we're dealing with the sun. I don't know if it's gonna over, um, basically help to overpower the sun because this is the Godox 8200. So we're gonna basically use this Godox 8200 to basically help uh, fill in the shadows on the subject's face, which is Orlando here. Okay, so let's try that. <laughs>
what I would like to do is basically get more light in that background because right now it's a little bit too dark for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my shutter from 2000 to maybe about 1250 and we're gonna take a shot and see what it does. One, two, three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's been about two years since myself and Orlando worked together. If you guys haven't seen the video, it's called, they call me Mr. Park. It was a pretty awesome shoot. Um, it was basically showing you guys how to work with male models. Um, so go ahead and hit that link if you haven't already. Uh, I'll let Orlando tell you all about himself. He's an international superstar. You know, he does videos all over the world. All right, so I'll let him tell you a little bit about himself. So Orlando. I'm just excited to be back with this guy. He's one of the first North Carolina photographers that I've worked with. I worked with when I moved here from Detroit. So I'm excited to be back with this guy after two and a half years. And he's still humble enough to photograph me, although he's known all over the world. And we've had people stopping us on this shoot, as a matter of fact, recognizing him from his YouTube videos. What's up? Um, but of course I have to give a shout out to my latest single that we filmed the video for in France and in England in this past summer. It's called Stunt Queen. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Google, Tidal, everywhere you can download music. So how they could find it on Spotify? What did it look for? Ah, it? you have to look under my name, Orlando Parker Jr. Ah, there we go. Uh, so look up Orlando. Orlando has some awesome music. Not, not only sunscreen, but check out his entire uh, series. He has a lot of awesome music, so go check it out. And he does some great performances too. Uh, what's that joint that you performed in London? That um, it's like a, like a, like a little speakeasy little joint. Ah, that? that was the London Unplugged. London Unplugged. Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. check those pretty things high. out. It's pretty odd. And he also sang. What is it in front of like? like thousands of people, the national anthem. And is it here that you yeah. did it? Yeah, we did the, um, this morning, as a matter of fact, we were at the North Carolina Museum of Art and it was a walk to end Alzheimer's. And they asked me to sing for a second time. Um, last year I did the national anthem. I did it again this year, but they also asked me to do my own music. So that was really exciting to sing at the, um, the amphitheater right there at the Museum of Art. Um, so I left there and I came directly to, to shoot with this man. Well, so it's I, been a busy day. <laughs> well, I certainly appreciate that. He's been hanging out with me for quite some time. We've been doing some other things prior to this shoot. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Put some comments down below and let us know what you think about this video. Let me know if it helped you. Uh, please share this video with your friends and family. Check out Orlando's stuff. I'm telling you, he has some awesome music. Go check it out. And, guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.